Hello guys. So today I will talk about the, um, the exclude object feature that is um, already implemented on the um, on the Clipper. Okay. Uh, this depends on the Clipper version you have, of course. Uh, for me, I do have the the main sale two dot five dot one. If I remember, they have implemented this this feature after the the version two point one. If I'm not, if I'm correct, um, but yeah, you must must be in the to be sure be in the last version of main sale, and I'm sure this will work. For this feature to work, um. You have to enable some some code here. The first one is on your printer config. You must add ex, uh, open brackets exclude underscore object uh, close bracket. Okay. In my case, this was this was already here, um, but you probably don't have this this piece of code, so you have to write it. Okay. Uh, anywhere in the file doesn't matter. Um, Another file we need, another change we need to do is on the Moonbreaker config. And since this is already in, inside the, moon, uh, the, um, the main cell, this part of the code is probably there. But I have pushed, uh, in my case, it was down here and I copied to help you just to show you. You will need the file underscore manager. And also enable underscore object underscore processing true. Okay. Um, if I'm correct, this was a false, so you have to change it through. Um, another thing in the, the moon break, it's all done. Then the other thing you have to do is on the slicer. <clears throat> you have to go into the slicer, and I know that uh, that some slices already have this option enable in the process slicer. I know that was not enabled, and for that reason, I'm showing you. You have to enable the um, you have to enable this option here. So label objects. Okay, you need to enable this this option. This option must be enabled for these exclude objects to work. Um, let me try to explain you. Where this this feature is is a is a is a good feature. Suppose you are printing something that takes like I don't know ten to fifteen hours. Uh, you start printing. Uh, after five hours, you notice that one of the parts needs supports uh, and will fail. You'll know that will fail. Five hours have passed. Filament has been used. Time has been <laughs> time has passed. So all these factors in a normal behavior of the printer, you must cancel the, the the print job, and you will lose everything. With this feature, what you will be able to do is to select the part you want and um, exclude it. Uh, if you go to your clipper, okay. And once you upload the um, the file, you you will notice uh, near the the pause button, you have the exclude object button now. Okay, you also have here an exclude uh, exclude bu uh, button once the print starts. This with the if you click here, you, it will ask you if you want to exclude the part that is printing at this moment. Okay. I have started print. I will let start the first layers and we will cancel one of the parts just to show you. But yeah, up here, if you click on this exclude object, you will be able to see all the build plate. In this case, I have only three, three parts there. Uh, and you can set at, at this moment, the blue one is the one that the printer is over. Okay. So, uh, and you can select that one or any any of the others to um, to cancel the um, the printing of that part. If you click it, it will ask, "Do you want to exclude the object?" Yes or no. Uh, you also can can cancel uh, on this side. It's the same thing, but I want to show you. Let me show you here. So my printer is printing that three parts that are cable. 
um, filament clips. Uh, they are small just to show you. So we have three parts there. Let's see if the, the head moves. Okay, there it is. One, two, three. So let's go to the desktop again. And let's let's say that we, that we want to can cancel this 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 part here. So I will cancel this part. I will exclude the object. Automatically, the color has changed. And if you notice on the printer, the print head it will go over the part, but will not print. It will go there and then bounce. See, it has bounced to the next to the next part. So it has a void to print that part. At this point, I know the printer will complete only that two parts. And for this reason, this feature is 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 very good. If you usually don't know or you did never use this feature, that's not a problem to have. But if you have used this in the past, uh, you can now enable this in Clipper um, for some time, of course. But um, remember, it's a good feature. Don't don't lose um, hours and hours of printing just because one part has came out of the, the heated bed or you forgot to add support or uh, it was a part that you don't need but will consume some filament. Now you can, in somehow, you can, can avoid spend the, um, the filament time after all money yeah, on this. Oh, so yeah, guys, for me, this is the, um, all I have for today. Um, I hope this helped anyone out there. And as always, have a good day. Bye-bye.